Hello and welcome everyone to the Invent Right TV show. My name is Andrew Krause. I'm one of the co-founders and today we have one of our coaches on. Her name is Courtney Laskowicz and she's an incredible coach and she's going to share with us a bunch of products that she's recently licensed. Thank you, Courtney. Absolutely. It's excited to be here. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I think I'm going to try to pepper it with some some questions so people can take away some tidbits. You know, sometimes when um, one of our students licenses a product or one of our coaches, they come on, they go, oh, I license this product and it's in this industry. Oh, but I can't share it yet because it's not going to be out in the market for six months. And so in this case, that's not the case where you got a whole bunch of stuff you can show. So people are loving that. So we're trying to do more of that. Um, so let's just jump in. You have a whole bunch of products that you license to one company and they just they sell dorm related products, dorms being where college kids live, maybe people are overseas, they don't know what a dorm is, who knows, but uh, live in a uh, squalor while they go to college. Um, no, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but sometimes it's a very small space when you're living in a college dorm, not a lot of space, you need to keep things organized. And I'm noticing most of your stuff is helping college students keep things organized in their dorm space. Absolutely. Yeah, okay, cool. So um, your first one is right there, to your right of your sh right shoulder right there. People can't see the whole thing. We'll throw up the whole thing on the screen here so you guys can see it. So what wh what is this? What is it? Absolutely, yeah. So this is called the entry organizer and you would put it probably near a door and you've got maybe your keys and your headphones up here and then you've got a little space for bigger items, maybe a purse or wallet or maybe some pens or notebooks. And then lower, we have a whole space dedicated just for your backpack or maybe just a bigger bag if you want to put it here. So a lot of space that goes back pretty far, so you can even put a couple backpacks if you have some uh, other people in your dorm. And then below, which you can't see, there are two spaces that can hold maybe 8 to 12 shoes, and it goes back pretty far. Oh, wow. So you can definitely put them in, and you can easily pull them out and grab everything you need before running out the door, and it's all in one place, and it... Uh, comes in white, black, and beach color, which is kind of a nice wooden, like, brown color. It's kind of magnet right yeah, there. Shoe, shoe storage is a big problem just in a regular house, let alone a dorm. So if you can hold 12 pairs of shoes, you can cram them down there. That's great. So yeah. most, a lot of people would look at this and go, well, Courtney, that's not an invention. It's just a piece of furniture. So what would you say to that? Yeah, absolutely. So it is a piece of furniture. I would say that is absolutely the case. Uh, but there isn't anything else like this. This design is not a design that you can just waltz into a, a furniture store and be able to pick this up. This is a unique design that I've uh, come up with. Uh, and it was my idea. Uh, I wanted to license it and I talked to Dormco and they loved it. So you, you, you knew that they were selling, this is, you designed a, a piece of furniture that's specifically for people living in dorms and they sell stuff to people living in dorms. Did they sell any other furniture before you showed this to them? So They do, yes. They have like yeah. nightstands and benches, all sorts of furniture they already... That's a really important lesson. If they weren't selling furniture, for instance, they were just selling sewn products, a few of your products are sewn, that you mm -hmm. licensed to them as well, um, maybe that would have been a little bit too much of a stretch. But you notice they're already selling furniture. And you're like, oh, this would be perfect for the dorm. So that made sense when you were evaluating. Correct. It's really important to take a look at the company's product line and make sure that your product does fit in. If it doesn't, then it's not going to be a, a best fit for the company or for yourself. It's not just about uh, yourself and where you want to see your product fit in, but also does it really fit in with that uh, their product line or set of product lines that they have. And I want to remind everybody that Courtney is one of our coaches too, so she's going to be very articulate in her responses on things, I could tell. <laughs> um, so let's see another one. Yeah, so... The one that started it all. We have the keyboard desk. It's cool. A piece of wood. I licensed. Uh, you licensed a piece of wood. Oh my God, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I did, yes. And uh, this is what started my whole entire licensing journey, how I learned about licensing. Uh, I came up with this idea. Uh, again, it's called the keyboard desk. And you put it over your keys as it is right now. And uh, if you're on a Skype call, maybe an interview, if you're taking a class, if you're just watching a, a video, doing homework, math problem, um, maybe you're drawing and you want to see the image on your screen. A lot of people have small desks, especially when we're talking about the dorm industry. Uh, in homes and apartments, 
people often have small desks there as well. So this kind of mitigates that issue. You don't have to get another desk or sit on the floor. Uh, you just put this over your keys so you're not smashing down or pressing any of your keys as you have your piece of paper, maybe on the corner of your laptop. You just put this right over it and then you can put your, your coffee cup, you can put your, your piece of paper, your notebooks, your pencils, you can write on it and then you're basically doubling your space uh, vertically. Yeah, and so so for those, I haven't seen your cell sheet, but I would say if, if I was going to do it, I would say get your desk space back. I mean, it gives you your desk space back. You don't have to move your whole laptop to another area. You know, there's cables connected, maybe connected to a USB port or a hub or something like that. You right. just plunk this thing down on top of your laptop. You get your desk space back. I guess you could still watch a movie or something on your laptop, but it's covering your keyboards. You could be eating. I mean, you have to do all sorts of things when you're in a cramped space in a dorm room, right? Yes, um, absolutely. And uh, it's really nice to be able to just do your homework on it. What's, what's great about this is it works with all different sizes of laptops. So I spent some time and figured out the dimensions myself when I was creating this product that it would fit over the most popular um, up to you know a 17 inch laptop where you can put it over it and you can still have a little space if you want to have anything, you know, uh, uh, plug in into a USB or uh, uh, maybe your charger. So you got enough room yeah. where it comes around the sides. You don't have to. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, some people may look at it and go, well, Courtney, you just all you did is you took, you know, those little hutches that people put. They put the monitor on top then you can slide your keyboard underneath it. But you just changed that up. You made it a lot lower, maybe a little wider. And it serves a whole different purpose. Absolutely. And the beauty about that, thanks for bringing that up, Andrew, because uh, on the Dormco website, is it is also sold as a hutch. So you can, you will see it in two different you places. You could use it that way too. Yeah, you could. Absolutely. So but those hutches thing. wouldn't really work as a desk though, you know, where you put your monitor on top of it because they're like, they got too much space Correct. and, but yours could work as both. And they, you're telling me they're marketing it like that. Dual purpose. Nice. Yep. Nice. Okay. This is fun stuff. So let's see another one. All right, so we've got the trunk pocket. Now, she didn't say truck pocket, people. She said <laughs> trunk. So a, right. a, a trunk or a large box, you know, a lot of people have those in their, in their dorm room. They, what, do, what do people put in there? Yeah, so uh, usually clothes is most popular. Sometimes some old textbooks that they may have or they have a lot of textbooks, notebooks. Uh, snacks. I've seen people put snacks, just a bunch of food in there as well, and they just close it up and lock it. But there's not much storage. It's a very uh, vast, wide space to just kind of throw everything in. So this kind of cleans it up a little bit. You'll see that it's a little bit bungee here. There's two slits there. And then there's four smaller slits here. So you could put in, you know, if you've got some chocolate you could just kind of slip it in over here and it uh, fits really nicely and maybe hey, have a can I, I want some, i want some of that chocolate i want <laughs> have a piece Stop about that andrew Ma mail it to me or, or skype it to me i will <laughs> we're on skype right now anyway so yeah that's really cool so it just goes inside there it helps you keep organized helps you keep trunk organized and again you license this to the same company that sells dorm related products so let's talk about that real quick before we show a few more yes she has more that's not all um so can you talk about how beneficial it is to make a relationship with a company by licensing them that first product, then you just keep showing them more and more and more? Is that what's going on here with you? Yes. And let me just pause for a second that building a relationship with your licensee is pivotal. It is pivotal. I originally came up with the keyboard desk and uh, I was hoping to license it in the office space, office supplies kind of area. And there were no companies that were interested. So I was kind of going down different industries and deciding what else could it fit in. And I thought maybe dorm and school and uh, found Dormco. And I talked to them about this. And they said, that's fantastic. Do you have more ideas? And I got off that call and I said, yes, of course I do. And I got off and I thought, I have no ideas in the dorm industry. I got to come up with more ideas for the dorm industry. So I did, and I drew up some sketches, and I figured out some concepts, and I sent over maybe 30 to 50 different ideas, and uh, they happened to like three of the other ones, which is how I got four products licensed without having any ideas in the, the industry based on that relationship, based on taking the yeah. opportunity that they gave me, and I said, 
I'm a creative type. Absolutely. I will absolutely come with more ideas and they let, like So let, let me ask you this question. If they if you, they didn't license the first product you sent them or any inventors working with a company, is that also an opportunity to make the relationship and ask if you can send more? Yes, absolutely. You know, us as inventors, especially if you're a professional inventor or a serial inventor, you're going to have more than one idea. It's definitely uh, if they're interested in product ideas, but it's just not the right fit. Maybe it's not the right time. Uh, definitely keep them in your arsenal because there may be other product ideas that they are very interested in. Can people, but... How do people do that? Do they, do they just ask, oh, I realize this one's not a right match for you. Is it okay if I send more? Can I send multiple? What do you like to see? Anything you're looking for? These are all things you can say? Or... Yes, absolutely. Okay. So, you, so you know, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. I completely understand. And then would you be okay with me sending you more product ideas in the future? And most often they say, absolutely. So, so Courtney, you're telling me when somebody says no to your idea that that you didn't get rejected. It's an opportunity to make a relationship. Is that what you're telling me? That is correct. Every oh. single no is just one step closer to that. Yes. It takes a lot of uh, patience and perseverance. Uh, it's difficult. It, you know what I like about this interview is that you're driving it home because you just licensed a ton of products to the same company. So let's jump on to the next one. What else you got? Yeah, so uh, the last one I have is the chair pouch. They coined it the Wombat Joey chair pouch, just like okay. a kangaroo. Oh, okay. Uh, made out of very stretchy material. It comes in white and black. It's actually on my chair right now. I had a design, uh, and I didn't really like it, and so I just slipped it over it. Uh, and there's a pocket in the back here, and you can again put some chocolate or maybe a notebook. Stop or torturing me with the chocolate. I want some chocolate. <laughs> Stop it. And you just take it and slip it in, and anytime you need it, you just uh, bring your hand in and you can pull it out. Uh, real handy. It's it's very stretchy, which um, I was really hoping this product would be. Uh, it's possible you could maybe fit smaller items, and I was really hoping to have like textbooks and and bigger uh, just items that you can fit in. And because of how stretchy it is, you can do exactly that. You can have four or five textbooks and pens, pencils, oh, that's and crazy. small items, and stick them in. Nice, nice. You can hide things from your roommate if they don't know it's there too, and it's small. That's right. Like the chocolate, like the chocolate. That's right. <laughs> So, uh, Courtney, thank you so much for sharing. I think we, we drove the most important point home on this interview with all these products you licensed to this company in that you, you just keep sending them more and they keep licensing more. Now, oh, the last thing that I wanted to, to ask you is, okay, so you got a relationship with this company. You can do dorm-related products. If you show them one product and they aren't interested, you did the work on that product, wouldn't you still show it to a bunch of other companies making those types of products? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, you're definitely going to have a set of products that you'll be pitching. And if, you know, the one company or the multiple companies that you built a strong relationship with, even if you haven't, you still, they're still your products. If, you know, and I've done that. I've pitched products to Dormco and they said, we're not interested, but, but thanks for showing us. Okay. And I still continue to pitch those products to other ideas. I think that's an important point for people to know. Definitely. Absolutely. So thank you so much, Courtney. Um, thank you for being such a great coach. I know all your students love you and you're doing a fantastic job. And thank you for sharing your own experiences. Absolutely. Thank you, Andrew. All right, everybody. Take care. Keep inventing and we'll catch up with you next time. See you guys. Bye.